Hey guys! Today I was sent this package from Elecro. The first one is an inventor kit and as you can see it comes with so many inventions that you can make. These are the modules that it came with and the fun part about this is that you can code with this kit. I really like that this kit comes with a lot of accessories. It comes with everything that you need and it gives you project ideas as well. These are a few of my favorite modules. So the first one is an ultrasonic sensor, a micro bit, and a gesture sensor. I was originally going to make a claw machine for this video and I was going to do this by coding a gesture sensor so it's motion controlled. The code was fairly easy to follow because it comes with these building blocks instead of actual code. However, I was playing around with this program and I think I accidentally made a mistake because I keep getting error messages. So as a last resort, I used the explorer kit which requires no coding. This kit also comes with a lot of accessories. It also comes with these templates for the projects in the manual. One of my favorite projects that caught my eye is the smart money box, so I'm going to attempt to make this, but I decided to give it a twist and make it into a vending machine. The manual is very detailed and it shows you step-by-step -step pictures, so I'm just going to start building this according to the manual. These kits are currently on Kickstarter, so if you're interested in supporting Crowbits, then make sure to look at the description box below. For the candy dispenser, I cut out the bottom of a water bottle. On the back side, you can see that I used a bottle cap to secure the motor. For the circuit, I connected power to an IR reflective sensor. Then I connected that with a cable and motor. Then I added a wheel that came with the kit onto the motor. And finally, I'm going to attach a cable and second motor. So to recap, it's power, IR reflective, cable, motor, cable, and another motor. One motor is to collect the money and the other motor is to dispense the candy. So now I'm just going to put my modules into the box. That thing over there is the IR reflective sensor. A cool thing about this template is that it comes with a magnetic strip so that the module can stick and not fall off. Here's a demonstration of how the money box works. When the IR reflective sensor is covered, it turns the motor. Now I'm going to be turning this money box into a vending machine. I added a cardboard platform to hold my second DC motor. I also added a railing so that the candy doesn't fall onto the money. And on the bottom, you can see that there's still room for the money to go through. So here's just a demonstration. The candy will fall through the ramp and on the bottom of the ramp will be where the money is. For the candy dispenser, the candy will be held in that little pocket over there and when the motor spins, it releases the candy. Now this thing looks really messy so I'm going to be putting it inside a tissue box to cover up the mess. And the final step is to decorate it. I decided to go with a bunny because it's Easter. So here's my finished vending machine. I actually took inspiration from this character and the reason the candy dispenser is on the back is because I wanted to make it look like the Easter Bunny is pooping candy. This was just a quick project idea I made within a day so there are lots of flaws. The candy dispenser doesn't work so well because it gets stuck at the top. Also I only put in a little bit of candy because the machine is not sanitary and I didn't want the M&Ms to go to waste. Thanks again to Ella Crow for sending me these products for review. If you're also interested in these steam toys, I'll leave a link in the description box for you to find more information. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!